So what most people don't get about liver health is that normal liver enzyme levels don't equate to optimal liver health or detoxification capacity. So your liver could be silently struggling even if your blood tests look like they're coming back normal. My name is Dr. Taranella, and this channel is dedicated to helping you understand, optimize, and improve your health. Today, we're diving into the often misunderstood world of liver health and detoxification. If you're liking these videos and getting a lot out of these videos, hit that like and subscribe button to continue getting videos like this one. All right, let's jump into today's video to uncover some of the hidden truths about liver health. So when we think about liver function, we often associate the function of the liver with detoxification, and that's true to a large extent. But when we do a liver function test, naturally you think it's looking at the liver's ability to detox. Yet it's possible to have a normal liver enzyme test result and still have a liver and body that is struggling to keep up with the detoxification capacity. It's also possible to have a healthy detoxification process going on and still have elevated liver enzymes in your blood and in your body. Well, how can both of these things be true? Well, I'm going to explain that, but a liver enzyme test, first of all, is telling us really about the amount of damage that's occurring in the liver cells. And so when the liver cells are damaged, the, the cells first are going to open up and the enzymes go out into the blood. And that's what you see on your blood test, the liver enzymes being elevated. And this damage to those cells in the corresponding liver tissue certainly happens from toxins like alcohol, Tylenol, and different medications. And the ability of those liver cells to detoxify these and get rid of them out of the body determines if those liver cells are going to get damaged and whether or not the blood tests are going to be elevated. However, just because your test is normal doesn't mean that your liver isn't a little bit more burdened by toxins either. The elevation in the liver enzyme test is going to occur when there is significant and prolonged burden on that liver. And this is what leads to the cell death in that tissue. So what about, for instance, genetic variations and detoxification pathways like phase two detoxification? Well, these are detoxification pathways collectively referred to as conjugation. And they're things like glucuronidation, sulfation, methylation, and similar types of pathways. And they help detoxify and change molecules in the body so that they can be more easily eliminated from the body and less toxic or damaging to the cells of the body. And so genetic changes here in those conjugation pathways can limit the body's ability to live ability to process certain toxins depending on whether or not they go through those pathways. Yet having genetic alterations here doesn't always create a person that's going to have the high liver enzymes. It certainly would make them more susceptible though, but these pathways are used daily and so any limitations here can lead to a buildup of toxins and compromised liver enzymes but it doesn't always do this and so back to the main point is that what people often don't realize is that normal liver enzymes don't necessarily equate to optimal liver health and optimal detoxification increased exposure to toxins can suddenly overwhelm your liver and your your body's ability to detoxify even if your enzyme levels have been historically very good and normal. Let's look at an example of a scenario where this might come up. So consider someone that consumes two alcoholic beverages every night and they have their liver enzyme tested and they show normal liver enzyme levels and they're like, Ooh, I'm doing good. So this suggests that their liver is inflamed, yes, but it also doesn't mean that there's no increased burden on those liver cells from that alcohol. Now, if this person were to go out and start taking Tylenol every night as well to help with their sore back or some kind of chronic pain, the additional burden could all of a sudden elevate those liver enzymes, revealing some kind of underlying issue. In this case, it's the excess burden from the alcohol. In the same way, when someone has compromised liver function due to their genetics, smaller changes in things coming in to the body can lead to a bigger effect on the liver's corresponding liver enzyme test results. 
So genetics do play a role. Toxic exposure does play a role, but it's not always going to show up when you do your liver function tests. So what about the other side? Does elevated liver enzyme blood tests mean that your detoxification pathways are somehow compromised? Well, the answer to that is a little more nuanced, but I'll say yes and no. And let me explain. When we have, for instance, something like fatty liver, it can cause elevated liver enzymes. Yes, as it progresses. And technically, though, the fat is not a toxin that needs to be detoxified. So from this perspective, no, but it's something that the liver in the body has to deal with. And it's the increased burden of the fat in the liver that is overwhelming the capacity of those liver cells to deal with that fat. And generally speaking, when liver enzymes are high, there is something that has burdened the liver beyond what it can naturally handle enough to damage the cells and lead to elevations in those liver enzymes. So the key takeaway here is that yes, liver enzyme tests are useful and helpful, but they're showing us a limited view of the liver functionality and the burden that's there on the liver. They don't fully capture, for instance, the remaining slack in the line, that the overall capacity of the liver to do its job and the burden on the body in general. And so while liver enzyme tests are helpful as an overview to see if there's actually a major or moderate problem there, it's kind of an oversimplification to say that it's a reflection of the more subtle aspects of your body's or your liver's health and its ability to detoxify in particular. And that's why even small elevations in your liver enzymes should be monitored carefully. Now we've talked about in other videos how other things can cause false elevations in the liver enzymes. And it's really that these liver enzymes are also found in other tissues. And so it's not always reflecting damage to the liver itself. Sometimes it's just because you exercise, for instance. So understanding these more subtle nuances of liver enzyme tests and whether or not your liver has adequate capacity to detoxify can be a little bit more nuanced than you should work with a healthcare provider that can provide that extra layer of understanding if that's what you're seeking out. But hopefully this video helps you get a deeper understanding of your health and your liver health in particular. Really just wanted to provide the differentiation here between liver enzyme tests and detoxification because a lot of times these are confused and mixed up. If you do have questions about anything here, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your question. And if you want a more nuanced, detailed answer, consider joining the membership program where I'll have more time and attention to dedicate to your question. Now, one question you might have after listening to all this is what are normal liver enzyme levels and you can find out more about that in this video here